Yeah, my name is Darrell. It's spelled like Daryl, but it's pronounced Darrell. And I just want to let you know that the back of your head is ridiculous. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Life is Strong, Jay. This is episode five, part number two. I cannot wait. Yes, I can warn David right now. Oh, except I need his damn number. Bitch, shut up. I was getting on that. <laughs> I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. When I say I cannot wait, what I meant to say was, I ain't ready for those goddamn... Those nightmares, yo. I, I'm not ready for that shit. Reminds me too much of Max Payne Found 1. Bro, I think they got nightmares in Max Payne 2 as well, but they're not as annoying. Max Payne 1, you got those nightmares where you hear a baby crying. It's fucking annoying to the point where you got to turn the volume down in order to complete that shit. I plan on doing a walkthrough for that as well. It's only the one, David. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everyone David. else. And take Jefferson down fast. Oh, she already sent the message and then she deleted it. You wanted me to enter okay. the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. Well, he's going to hell, that's what he's going. It's the past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? As a matter of fact, it doesn't matter what yeah, he, happens. He's to going me. to prison. I have to save Chloe. You're gonna get fucked all the way in the ass. It's going to come for Chloe. I said Chloe. Kate. Kate. Oh. Her Kate. saying Chloe just made me say Chloe. I meant to say Kate. Hey, Max. <laughs> Damn it. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. You gotta say no more beehive. Maybe we could both use a hug. <laughs> you got that 1950s hairstyle. I see she's Thanks. old school. You always know the right thing to do. Wait, did I say 1950s, 1960s actually? Here, take this photo, you piece of Mr. shit. Mr. Jefferson? We need to talk. Uh, Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you an okay, asshole? Max? I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody. To destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. Well, she got dick sucking lips for real. Let's just look at him. <laughs> I've seen it. Bro. Listen, I, I didn't. You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now. Do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. You know, I see Vicky being a porn star, yo. Can you imagine that? She could be the next Luna star, fam. For you. <laughs> then I guess I'm done talking. And that's okay, too. Confuse the show out of her. That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh... That was easy. No. It wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh... I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, yeah, the yeah, first yeah. step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be... innocent. Or guilty. Uh... Well... Thanks for the photo, and maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe no, only not. one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. 
Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. Dick liquor. Fuck you, motherfucker. You think you're slick. Come on over here asking me a photo. Ask that bitch for a photo. <laughs> that, that was just on my mind. I just wanted to say it. This is the second time that we've seen this in a transition. We can't even skip it. Got his ass locked up. I'm locked up. He won't let me out. I'm locked up. Where, 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 where? La da 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 da. No, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I was just watching, um. I don't mean to be joking while this is on right now. I was just watching um, Set the Entertainer special on Netflix, yo. Where he was talking about Ron Isley just got out of jail. Now he in the studio making a remix to, like, to Akon's Locked Up, yo. You know, imagine Ron Isley doing a remix to Akon's Locked Up. She'd be butter as hell, boy. And he, he wouldn't lie. Whoa. <laughs> we on a plane. Okay. You're okay, Max. You're safe. Why that dude like Jefferson without his glasses on, though? I hope I did everything right this time. If things couldn't get any worse. I mean, of course, we weren't about to go to San Fran with goddamn Mark Jefferson, but we gotta go with this asshole. Please fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco. Like your hairline thing? Clear skies and cool 60 degrees. That dude look we Jewish though. Your trip and we thank you for like his name is Weinstein or some shit. Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't your think so. For no Weinstein. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. Yeah. And you could have sat in that seat that's next to you, bro. You really had to just leave an empty seat. You had to sit next to me, fam? I'm already uncomfortable on this damn plane. At least I got the window seat, though. Window seat. Sorry. How did you sleep? <laughs> Hope I wasn't I'm sorry, goofy as hell right now. Just a bit. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Well, my lips are dry as hell, Mr. Jefferson man. and Prescott. Well, Things have been hectic, yeah. to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop one. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guy you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and oh, we're not even there. Christ, another nosebleed? Max. You're not just screwing around with time. Prison break, yo. There's a part in uh, GTA 4, GTA 4, Uncharted 4, where you break out of a prison. That, that shit reminded me of um, a Mafia 2, yo. Chapter, was it Chapter 5? I think it was. It was like 11 chapters or something like that. But Chapter 5, man. A Mafia 2 is probably my favorite part. Because you get to beat the shit out of a whole bunch of inmates. I love fighting, yo. In video games. I'm not a fighter in real life. Although I study MMA, I'm not a real fighter. You know, I can whoop somebody's ass if I want to. If they provoke me. But I'm not a fighter, man. I'm a lover. And I've been that way for 20 years, man. Since I was in the womb. Wait, I said 20. And I'm 21. <laughs> 21. Dang. She finally got on something that make her look good. Like a grown ass woman. San Francisco is so Looking delicious. Cold. And this gallery is huge. And she got on a dream catcher. That his home, man. That his home. Because your boy is Native American. For those of y'all that's new to the channel, I am Native American. Half black, half Native American. Two tribes Blackfoot, Cherokee. Mainly Cherokee, though. So is the buffet. 
If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as yeah, many like people Barker here fail. as possible. <laughs> Work the room. Ugly as hell. I don't know. I, I feel so weird. Like, I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max, after this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Man, can we hurry this Hell, shit up? I, I want to look be around, in charge bro. charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm going to eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Shit, I don't need to talk come to you. Come on, man. Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Shit, turn out to Chloe. Cause she gonna call us in a minute. Yeah, that's that picture I missed. So we just gonna take her camera and just take a picture of the back of her head, yo. Without permission, you're just gonna take her camera and take a picture of the back of her head. Without even letting her know. Excuse me, can I talk to you for a minute? Excuse me for... <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, my name is Darrell. It's spelled like Daryl, but it's pronounced Darrell. And I just want to let you know that the back of your head is ridiculous. And I was wondering, can I have your number? Can I have your number? Can I? Can I? Can I have your number? No, I'm just bullshit. <laughs> I don't want your number. She ugly as hell. No, I'm just playing. I'm trying to figure out what she look like, yo. It's like a mixture of Zendaya and Alicia Carrio. Or Cara, how do you say her last name? It's a camera. Bad picture. Yeah, you gotta go buy it. That's a camera. So Can you bitches get out of the way? I'm trying to look at my work. Come on, huh? Move. Here on the plaque, Max Caulfield, everyday hero. Y'all standing in the goddamn way. There she shit. is Move. to save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least for today. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Let's be. I'm okay. Uh, I need life. some more money. I'm broke as hell, man. High altitude. I'm gonna find me another goddamn job, yo. I'm about to quit the job I already have. I can't do AV oh, You left the ringer off, idiot. Six missed calls, yo. <laughs> oh, come on. Please answer. That's how many missed calls I get from my mom on a day-to-day -day basis. Six missed calls, yo. <laughs> what? Oh, no. Chloe, where are you? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Up. Oh my god. The tornado was real. Oh, I didn't fix shit. Chloe will die. Arcadia Bay is gonna be destroyed. I didn't fix shit. Should have known that from the beginning. There has to be a way to stop this. In the beginning. And look at this shit. What the hell is this supposed to be? A dude getting kicked in the ass and the nuts at the same time? Really? <laughs> this dude got his leg all up doing the Michael Jackson stance and shit. Kicked him right in the ass. And he bent down because his no ass hurt. And they got kicked in the nuts. Chloe can't die again. <laughs> I have and to She's still her. over here. Oh. Got a nice ass. She's the only one that actually got a plump ass in this game. Look at that. And then she got on Sparta sandals. Really? Her and that um that Lana Jade looking bitch. Wait, no, 
I said Lana J. Not Lana. Not Lana. Not uh, do Lana not J. I understand. Uh, Zoe Berger. That Zoe Berger look at this. She got on Smarter Sandals. The girl with the purple hair. Or the uh, the purple. Um, whatever the fuck. She got on Smarter Sandals. What is up with all these guys on Smarter Sandals, man? This ain't 300. For some reason, I ain't even like that movie, man. I don't like movies like that. I mean, I like old school movies. Excuse me. I'd love to ask you a few questions about your work. Sorry, but... Man, if you don't get your... Charlie Brown looking ass on my face. I can't even think of a joke, man. I was gonna make a montage moment out of that, but... <laughs> oh, you're Max Caulfield, right? Tell me what kind of instant camera you um, use. Yeah, can if we you don't get later? the fuck out of my Thanks. face. I literally do not have Come on, man. to deal with everybody. Interrupting me and shit. This ain't even that hard, man. There we go. Sometimes my fingers slip off the goddamn analog sticks. Just like that one mission on GTA 5, yo. Uh, I think it's called Does Somebody Say Yoga or something like that. Oh, and you gotta use the damn analog oh, sticks to to do all that bullshit. That that mission sucks. What is going on now? It's not even because our family left us, it's because we gotta do that bullshit. I wanna shoot bitches in the face. Not do yoga with a fucking French dude, man. I don't wanna do that shit. I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Tear it again. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. Ain't no point in doing that. We're gonna end up back in the dark room anyway. You gonna burn all our shit. And why Principal Wells? I don't know why I forgot to say this. Why Principal Wells sound like goddamn Barry White when he talks, yo? What deep as shit? <laughs> it's only love on his way, baby. It's only love when you feel it, you feel it like <laughs> I don't know why, but GTA 4 got that song stuck in my head now. I love that song, yo. And GTA 4 wasn't even the first time I ever heard that song. Oh, fuck. I grew up on that shit. God, no. I'm back here again? Man, my phone charged fast as shit. Everything. What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. Should we say fuck you or eat shit and die? <laughs> I, I, I usually say eat shit and kick rocks. That's my catchphrase. We could just say fuck you right, right to his face. I don't know. Now, I chose eat shit and die every time. Let's try fuck you see what he says. Fuck you. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. Good answer, Steve. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. <laughs> sorry about I'm that. I'm sorry. Every time they say good answer, that, that's the first thing that pops up in my head. That shit on Family Feud, man. They say they answer a question. They answer one. They ask the simplest questions. And then they give the dumbest answers. And it's always that one family member that says, good answer, good answer, good answer, Steve. That, that, that's out there. It's number one. Get the fuck out of here. Shit ain't number one. Gonna be number one on YouTube. But it ain't finna be number one up there. That Just saying. <laughs> but considering you're about to die, I still can't get over the fact that that dude said the first world coupon. <laughs> you're the only one that said coupon. Oh. Number one. I had to let Victoria Chase go. You let her. Don't be stupid. Let her go. Okay. She's exactly where she deserves to be. No. Oh, as if you care. Now nah, we see motion. I was just talking about this last episode. Oh, that dilation like a shutter. The pictures you're taking of me. The only time we see emotion is when she's mad. Now, too bad you pissed away your gift. 
You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I'm talking about what a waste. I got a motherfucking waste. Away. Fuck. He burned my diary. Always. That's why I'm still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something weird going on with you. Whoa. Did you see how crazy it is outside? Like I said, something weird. If you don't get the fuck out of my face, you're breast me like ass, Brevins. I don't want to smell that, bro. Max. <laughs> Remember what I said about his beard? Look like he'd been eating ass, bro. That shit on his face. It's an honor working with you on these final sessions. He got the shittiest beard in his girl, bro. These images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of you. They're like baby shit. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh, we're going to that out. I just thought about what I, I just thought about what I said after I said it. I said it looked like he'd been eating ass, but his beard looks like baby shit. That makes it sound like God damn it. I really <laughs> We just gonna roll the tape. <laughs> That's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please. Don't do this. Don't do this. Now you're going to plead to him. Keep talking shit. Be a savage. Quiet. You got your foot free. Kick him in the nuts. I'm going to take these chucks and I'm going to kick you squire in the nuts, as Cartman would say. Please. Don't do this. Don't do this. It's that dumb white girl logic. You see a killer, they run away from a, they run away from them at a reasonable pace, but for some reason they still get caught because they trip over nothing. <laughs> I promise, this final dose won't hurt. Come on, David. What? There he is. God damn. Jesus. David Madsen. He's out cold. Good. I always hated that fascist fuck. Everybody at Blackwell did. Right, Max? Okay. <laughs> Let's try this one last time. Bye, have a great time.